I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. It's not. Hello world, welcome back to another video. As you may be able to tell, my hair is soaking wet um, because it's pouring outside and I was just rained on but I don't feel like blow drying it because I have to go out again in a bit so that would just be a little pointless. Anyway, today I am bringing you the Not A Booktube newbie tag. I wasn't actually tagged to do this but I've seen it kind of do the rounds and I'm very excited about it so I'm just gonna do it. The original tag was created by Shelby from Clever Fox and I will link her video down below. I'm also having lunch at the same time because I'm hungry and I thought multitasking would be a good idea. Question number one, how old is your channel? It's about two and a half years old. Um, if you go to my like about section or whatever it's called, it says August 2014. Um, which is when I made the channel, but I believe that my first video went up in September of 2014, so that is two and a half-ish years ago. Question number two, what are your favorite videos to make? The videos in which I eat food. I've done quite a lot of those actually, <laughs> I'm just realizing. Anyway, my favorite videos to make are probably wrap-ups. I like to talk about books that I've read, obviously, but um, I don't feel like I'm really good enough at book reviews to really sort of enjoy them while I'm making them. I often feel that I don't have enough to say to devote an entire video to it. So what I like about wrap-ups is that it sort of gives me the chance to do like mini reviews of a couple of books in one video. I also should probably finish eating before I talk, but my channel. I also had this phase where I did a lot of discussion videos and I really enjoyed making those because there wasn't really like any preparation necessary. It was just pick a topic and rant about it for like 10 minutes, which happens to be something I'm really good at. Um, I haven't done a proper discussion video in a while though, so I, I don't think I would um, want to give that as an answer to this question, if that makes any sense. Question number three, what is one piece of advice you would give to someone who wants to join BookTube? I see a lot of people on social media and in the comments section of videos, even my videos, talk about how they would love to join the BookTube community, but they're kind of nervous about making a video, and I just want to say that that's really not necessary. The BookTube community is very open and very accepting of new people, and there's really not much to be nervous about. On a more practical level, I would probably advise you to look at other people's videos, not just kind of watch them passively, but like really look at the kind of stuff they discuss, the content they create, the way they film and edit, that kind of stuff. For me, it really helped to sort of get a, an idea of what the possibilities are and what I wanted to do, you know, the stuff that I liked and the stuff that I didn't like and the stuff that I thought maybe I can sort of do my own twist on this. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be like authentic to yourself and what you want to do and if you already like know I want to do this, this and this, then that's great, you know, then that's you sorted. But if you're kind of still new and looking into all the possibilities, then I would definitely recommend doing this for just like an afternoon or something. On an even more practical level, I would advise you to probably finish your lunch before you start filming a video, but that's just me. Ah. Question number four, since joining, have you run into any unforeseen challenges? I don't know if this qualifies as an unforeseen challenge, but mostly I think I really underestimated how much time goes into maintaining an active channel. Even for like a five minute video, there's hours going into uh, preparing, setting up, filming, editing, uploading. And especially now that I work five days a week, almost every week, it's not always been easy to find the time to do booktube as well. Question number five, what is a favorite book or series you've read because of booktube. Actually, the first one that popped into my mind is Milk and Honey, which is right over here. I'm not sure if that's in the frame, but I think it is. That was quite a recent read for me, which is probably why it's the first thing I thought of. Another one is The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake, which is also somewhere in this area. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> that is a magical realism story that I decided to pick up last year after I watched Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings talk about it. Question number six, overall, what is your favorite aspect of booktube? I'm going to be really predictable here and say the community, because if it wasn't for all the lovely people that I've gotten to interact with over the course of two and a half years, I probably wouldn't still be here making videos. But to be a bit more specific, my favoritest aspect is um, the, the little group of people who always comment on my videos and I always comment on theirs and we're just kind of invested in each other's bookish lives. Most of us don't know each other in real life, but 
it's just so nice to have these book friends that are always there when I upload a video and I'm always there when they upload a video. Question number seven. Okay, that was, that's not gonna work. Question number seven, one is spread, oh I, <laughs> I just, I just spit a little bit of my bread. I'm cool. Yep. Question number seven, wanna spread the book love, give at least one newbie a shout out. I honestly couldn't think of anyone, which made me think that I should probably look into finding some newbie channels again. The thing is that most people I started following when they were newbies are now not newbies anymore, just like myself, but this is a good reminder. Question number eight, who do you tag? I feel like Helena from Orphan Black. I want to tag a couple of people who've sort of been with me since the early days of my channel. So that's definitely Daphne from Daphne M, uh, Rebecca from Rebecca Reads, Claire from The Book Fox, and Lucy from Lucy M. Um, I wanted to tag a couple of more people that are sort of in that category, but I think most of them have already done this tag. Anyway, I would also like to tag the people that I tag. Um, to do this video while eating because it's so much fun. Multitasking is good, it means you're adulting. Hashtag adulting. Right? Could also mean that I'm a mess, but... Nah. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I am not looking forward to editing this and watching myself make a fool out of myself, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Um, yes, that was it. <laughs> Bye.